So today, I'm going to take apart a solar wheel glide 3 or in motion V8 in order to change the inner tube or replace the tire. The tools you need are a 4mm hex wrench, a Phillips screwdriver, and some tire levers. So the first thing you want to do is remove the two screws holding the outer shell to the inner shell. Next, you're going to want to open the valve flap, kind of lift up the pedal, and you're going to want to push the outer cover counterclockwise while gripping the handle, just like this. And with enough force, the cover should pop out. And then you're just going to want to slide the cover back, set it aside. Next, you're going to want to remove the valve cover, the two screws holding it in place. And just pop it out and set it aside. Next, you're going to want to flip it over and you're going to do the same thing for the other side. So the first thing you're going to do for the other side is make sure the handles pop it out so you're able to unlock the clips holding the cover in place. And just repeat the process. Undo these two screws here, push the cover clockwise just like you did before, and you should just slide it back. I'm going to remove the valve cover, the two screws holding it in place, just like before. Pop that out. Next, you're going to want it. Flip it over, and you're going to want to disconnect the battery. So you're just going to pull the connectors out of this little gap here. Be careful not to apply too much pressure. Once you got the battery disconnected, you're going to want to open the main cover to the control board. So there's just four screws holding that in place. Set that aside. So the next thing you're gonna to want to do is remove the main leads from the wheel connecting to the control board. So there's three, these three leads here and this signal wire here. So we're just gonna pull straight back and remove these three. And you're gonna to wanna to gingerly remove that signal connector as well. So once you got that disconnected, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is remove the four bolts on this side Connecting the wheel to the body using your hex key. Once you got those screws removed, you just kind of want to repeat on the other side. Undo these four bolts. Next, once you got those removed, you're just going to slide the body and separate the wheel. Now we just got our wheel. Changing the tube on your electric unicycle wheel is just the same as changing it on your bike. So first thing you want to do is let out some air. Once you've let out enough air, you can dig into the tire, pull the bead out using your tire lever. I'm just gonna work your way around. It might be helpful to use two. To maintain the progress you've made as you work your way around. I'm just gonna muscle it. With enough determination, you should be able to get the bead unseated. So once you got the bead unseated from, from the rim, the next thing you're gonna do is gonna push out the valve from the valve hole. And once you've got that out of the way, you can pull the end tube from the inside of the tire. So if you had a flat inner tube, you can either replace your inner tube or just patch it up. In our case, our inner tube is pretty good, so we're just going to set that aside. You're also going to want to check the inside of the rim for any sharp objects, as well as the inside of the tire 
You can just feel your way around, see what caused the flat, and then uh, just remove it. So to uh, get reinstall your tube, you're just going to reverse that process. You got your new tube, you want to have a little bit of air in it, so it has some shape. You're going to work your valve back into the valve hole. Once you got that situated, you can shove the rest of the inner tube back into the tire, seat it on the rim, trying to avoid any pinches or folds. And once you got that seated, you're going to want to feel around just in case. It's all good here. You're going to take the tire lever and you're going to want to push the bead back into the rim. Or once you get to the end, it's going to be a little tricky. You're going to have to use a bit more force to seat that there. There you go. And your wheel's ready to go. So now I just got to put some air in it and then uh, reverse the steps to put your wheel back together. Hope you guys found that helpful and uh, keep on riding.